Hi, today we're going to be using Silver Silk's 8 Needle Flat. It's called 8 Needle because it's knitted with 8 different needles of 32, whether either 32 or 34 gauge wire. It's not going to pull apart, it's very, very durable. I like the 8 needle flat because you can do a lot with it. Um, you can embellish it by stitching in and out of it. It can be wire worked. Here we're going to make a little pair of teardrop earrings. <clears throat> I'm using an 8 millimeter saucer. I have a 4 millimeter Tahitian pearl. I could use 24 gauge wire. Um, I'm going to use a head pin. You can either use a regular head pin or you can use um, one with a little bead on top. Here we're going to keep it simple and just use a regular head pin. I'm measuring, I've measured two pieces, uh, one I've already used, you can measure another one here, of uh, 8 needle flat, 2 and 3 quarter inch. I'm going to cut another piece because I want to show you how it doesn't fray when you cut it. So I want to go right here. Measure two and three quarters. Come up to that. When I cut it, I'm only going to get the last row where I've just cut that last row of loops that's going to come off. It's not going to come apart, which is what it's really a nice part about what's working with Silver Silk. When I'm using this, I'm just going to trim those off. I'm going to take my wire. In this case a head pin. I don't want to go to the very last loop because that's where I've just cut. I want to go maybe three, four loops down. First let's put my pearl, my head pin here through the hole of my pearl. Go into the saucer. Okay. Now I want to make my my teardrop and again I'm not going to go in the very end I'm going to try to go about three or four loops down here right in through the center and then come around and do the same thing on the other side pull them together and that's going to form a little teardrop and using this project I have my flush cutters, my wire cutters. I also have a pair of needle nose pliers and my round nose pliers. I want to take my round nose pliers and on the opposite side, so I have my my Tahitian pearl, my saucer, I've gone through it both sides of my knit. I'm going to take my round nose pliers. I'm going to I've just bent just about a 90 degree angle. I'm going to come around the top, roll down, and I've made a P loop. Let's see if you can see that there. A little loop with the wire. I want to now use my chain nose pliers and or needle nose and hold on to that. And I want to take my hands and just wire wrap. I'm going around here about three times just to get it securely wrapped. My flush cutters cut off the excess and then with these little pieces here I you could trim them I tend to just take my pliers and just kind of like roll them down that's like I said it's not going to fray but I also don't want it to stick out either you can push them down now right now I have my wire wrap sticking straight back I'm going to want to take my pliers my chain nose pliers and just kind of push it up flat against the saucer <laughs> and the reason I did that is because I want to attach my ear hook so I have my fish hook I'm going to take my needle nose pliers open that up drop in the loop that I've just created on the earring close it back up and now there you go I have an adorable can you see that there and that knit is just, it's very strong, but yet it's just very dainty and it's incredibly lightweight. And that's how you could use the 8 needle flat to make a pair of little teardrops. 
Now, if you want to embellish those, just as, in case you don't have saucers, in this case, <clears throat> I've just used a bead. So I've just used a bead and done the same thing into the back. And then I've added a little bit to it by taking seed beads. This is just a, let's see, that's probably about a size 8 seed bead. And I've used fire line and a, um, just a, a pearl, this is actually a pearl stringing needle, and my fire line. And I've gone in and out of the 8 needle flat with the fire line. You could also use a 28 gauge wire as well, and I've just sewn the seed beads in and out, and this has allowed me to embellish it. And let's see, just to show you yet another example, um, this wire you'll notice is actually a little bit thinner. This wire is the four needle flat, so if we just compare the, um, the knits here. All tangled. The four needle flat is then knitted with four needles, thus four wires. That's going to give you a thinner. The four needle flat is approximately 2.2 millimeters wide, where the eight needle flat is 4.8 uh, millimeters wide. And here, rather than using a uh, fire line, I've actually used a 28 gauge um, wire and stitched my seed beads right along uh, the, the inner lining of, of the, the teardrop. And then again, you'll see the back of my head pin. I went right in through a pearl, and then I've just wire worked it in the back, and then attached a fish hook. So here's just a few examples of how you can embellish the flat.